Let me start with uh, your name, height, and weight. Please. Uh, so my name is Stephen Hetherington, five foot five, and currently I'm sitting around 158, 159. What um, class are you? The classic. I'm class eight, the classic physique. Yep. Okay. What was the last show you did, man? How did you do? The last show I did was uh, the Flint Mid Michigan NPC show. I won uh, class eight and won the overall. Awesome, yeah. Mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are your future plans? What are you thinking? Uh, so right now, I'm just going to go into a grow phase, reverse out of this show, and then um, try to come in for North Americans with a bit more size and try to take away the card. Okay. Good, man. Um, so today, go ahead and tell us a little about your workout today, the thing that you did, and what you like about the workout. So today, we start out with just some lateral raises, nothing too crazy. Get some blood into the muscle. Went into a dumbbell shoulder press, and then to the single arm lateral raises and some rear delt flies on the cable. I just like the way I can really isolate each movement. I like to stick to isolation movements a lot more on shoulder workouts. The dumbbell press is pretty much a staple though in all my shoulder workouts. I like to move some weight, get that going. But yeah. Are you still trying to be careful with weight? Yeah, yeah, I'm still like, deloading, trying to take it easy, work my way back into it slowly. With this, like, pre show versus now? Uh, pre show, I, was, I actually got fed quite a bit leading up into the show. I don't think we went under 125 grams of carbs, and that was right at the end. I kept a pretty high food amount all the way through. Um, right now, it's still the same. I'm not eating a whole bunch more, we're just taking it easy, slow increases on the food as we reverse out. Yeah, that's just how my body is. I was pushing about five, five and a half thousand calories and still stay relatively lean, gradual weight increases. Gotcha. Um, now, go ahead. Who's your coach, bud? Uh, Matt Casano okay. from the Body Technicians. Where's he out of? He's out of uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Okay, um, so the guy is going to ask, um, go ahead and let's talk, talk a little bit about your past, bud. Like, because you were, um, you have an interesting background from the military, bud. Uh, tell people a little bit, um, you know, what you did over in Australia. And then you're originally from Australia as compared to what you're doing now. So yeah, I'm from Perth, Western Australia. I joined the Australian Army Infantry when I was 17 years old. Served there for four and a half years. Then I got out January 2015. Um, moved to America, joined the US Army in November and got posted to the 82nd Airborne. And I stayed there till February of 2020. So what, how did you kind of get into bodybuilding, but what was kind of like um, first interest in you about it and like got you involved with lifting weights and then made you take the next step to actually competing in something? So originally, being in the military, I was more into calisthenics type workouts. And then we deployed 2012 and one of my friends, uh, Stephen NG, he was into weightlifting and he dragged me along to the gym with him one day and then from there it was kind of like an addiction. Never really took the dieting side of it all serious until really last year when I got out of the military. And as a real big bodybuilding environment in North Carolina, so I was looking around at all that, seeing all the competitors, and it really sparked an interest of mine, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Did one show and got hooked on it. And then I've done my second show recently now. How did you end up in a Toledo but from North Carolina? Actually, my girlfriend, her family all lives in Toledo, so once I got out of the military, we decided to come back wherever it is and be close to the family. Okay. And all your family is still back on Toledo? Yeah. Okay. Um, what, was, um, what was your cardio like going into the show, bud? I suppose off season you do cardio like year round, or is that not a. So, yeah, I usually do cardio year round. Um, it's generally 10 minute stair climber every day but leg day after the workout uh, leading into prep it stayed pretty consistent with that but um because i couldn't get away with faster cardio in the morning we only added an extra 20 minutes incline treadmill later on in the day and that's how we maintained throughout prep i didn't know more than 30 minutes a day you know i remember if you guys were in the military or somebody was um obviously it's not like the best environment to do competition bodybuilding but then you do have access to like weight Oh yeah, 100%. I've I've got gyms everywhere. That's that's a big thing they do provide us gyms. Yeah, definitely. That was a lot of time. Yeah.
done a lot, man, already. <laughs> most people will do it a lifetime. You've done a lot. Uh, it's been busy. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. And now you're going to be going back to school, you said? What are you going to be majoring in? Uh, dietetics. So I should hopefully be getting into summer classes with that if everything goes as planned and kickstarting that. Would you like to train people or just help anyone? Or what are your I 100% want to coach people. I've actually recently started coaching. I'm pushing, I've got two competitors right now and I want to push a bit more lifestyle clients as well. But coaching is my end goal with, for a career. Uh, definitely my girlfriend for putting up with me, especially throughout prep. I know that can get a bit intense for her. And my coach, that guy's taught me an insane amount. More than uh, beyond the weights, about hormones, biofeedback, all that sort of stuff. He's been an extremely good mentor and he's definitely helped me decide what I want to do with my life. Like when I came across him, it kind of cemented what, my, what I want to do with my future. My coach helps me a lot with that. Yeah, he's me and him definitely did a lot of work, um, a lot of work with posing, just changing, consistently changing as our body changed throughout prep till we found what we really locked in and looked good. But yeah, I'd, I'd bug him every day. We'd be back and forth pictures, and just minute changes. Like he's got a really, really keen eye for that sort of stuff. So like, might be just changing moving my hips an inch further to the side and rotating it to create that, that better taper. So, yeah. it was good. Yeah, that's, that's the goal, at least. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Would you like to compete as a pro then? Oh, definitely, yeah. This, I'm pushing this as far as my body will let me take it for as long as it'll let me go. Yeah. Congratulations, we'll definitely catch up with you later this year. 100%. Yeah, definitely.